We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. There is no other God but you. We worship you, our God. We worship you, our Father. We worship you, our Father. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, welcome to our lunch, our life. Here at our headquarters in Entebbe. At Entebbe Miracle Center Church. We are going to sing a national anthem. Then we have a very brief message. Don't forget we are still in the national curfew. Make sure by 7 p.m. you are home. To avoid the long arm of the law. In Jesus' name. Amen. And I told you the other day, make sure you learn the three stanzas of the national anthem in this lockdown. If you're Ugandan. Let's go. One, two, three, go. I've been sharing with you uh, three important things in different verses. I shared with you three important things in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse number 6 if we can have it on the screen. I don't think I can go back very far, but let me share with you before. three things. We said, be careful for nothing. So there are three things here to take away our carefulness. One, in everything by prayer. Two, supplication. Three, thanksgiving. We need to understand those three important things. Prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. Of course, we started more three things before this. But let me go to the ones of yesterday. In 2 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 1. We also started three things there. And what did we see? The Spirit of the Lord came upon Azariah, the son of Oded. And he went to us and, and he went to meet us and said unto him, Hear me, Asa, and all Benjamin and Judah. One. The Lord is with you while you be with him. Two. If you seek him, he will be found of you. And three. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. 
So today we are want to start another three things. In verse number three. What does it say? Now for a long season Israel has been without the true God and without a teaching priest and without the law. Israel has been without a true God one and two without a teaching priest and three without the law. Those three things are also very, very important. We are not talking about having a God. There are many gods in the world. That's why yes, when you read Exodus chapter 19, verse 1, 2, 3, and 4, and when we read the whole chapter of chapter 20 of Exodus, we hear God say, Thou shalt not have other gods before me. Because I'm a jealous God. Even God recognizes that there are many other gods. And God is very jealous against other gods. Here in Uganda where I was born and grew up, we had many gods when I was growing up. Chibuko Mumbale was a god. Chibuko Mumbale yali katonda. Rainbow is a god. Ne Musoke. Yes. He's a god. Na yikatonda. Mukasa is a god. Mukasa is also a god. Mukasa is a god of the twins. Ka, Mukasa ye katonda wa balongo. And we used to dance those balongo at the village in Gatuwe mule bigambe bi nene. Manga tuzi na mazina for twins and speak of And we used to say boeza bwa mukasa boeza bwa mukasa because Mukasa here in Buganda is considered a god who gives twins. Kubanga wa no Mukasa we Buganda ba mutwalanga ye katonda aletiro mutu okuzala balongo. And many of you have not given both to twins in Uganda, that means you don't have that God. Chibuko Mumba is the God of the skies. Chibuko Mumba is the God of the in Uganda here, Uganda, Musoke is the God of heavens. Ye we guru. That rainbow you see. E uyu, so we guru. have many gods. You go to Musoka, many gods. You go to India, six million gods. Bogende India, baina kakaga, ka bukade. Six million. Bukade mokaga. A nation of 1.2 billion God people have got six million gods. E Six million million mokaga is so there are many, well, I'm not talking about gods. So get up, the Bible is just talking about Israel Ndi. has been without the true God. True God. And then see this world. Coronavirus By the time coronavirus invaded, it did not have a true God. Did you know that the largest religion in the whole world is not Christianity? Christianity is not the largest religion. Islam is not the largest religion. Is not. Christianity. We are just 1.2 billion people. Of the 7 billion people on earth. And the true God is among the Christians. Hinduism. Is so big. Buddhism uh, oh Buddha is bigger than Christianity. Because almost three quarters of India are Buddhist. Part of China, China part of Japan, and Middle Eastern nations in the Asia. So the true God is missing somewhere. In other nations like China do not even have a God. 
They are atheists. They don't believe in any God. They believe in the atmosphere. So are the Russians and in other Eastern Asian countries. So the nation has been lacking a true God. And such calamities of coronavirus can come when there is no true God. But even among we who practice the true God, the God who is called I am, who is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who created the universe in Genesis, who is the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, even we who believe in Him, we don't believe him in truth and just he's not a true God to us we profess as Christians and we fornicate we profess as Christians and we booze we profess as Christians and we attend shrines for witchcraft that even we who are Christians, all those women I was talking about yesterday who sells akabozi, akabozi and, and those women I talked about, the prostitutes, who sells akabozi mm. they have got names. They are Christine. They are Christina. They are Harriet. Jenny. <laughs> I don't see God be a good. <laughs> they have Christian names. But they go ahead and say like I was sketched. So we don't have a true God. This is the time for us to come back to the true God. These are the three things I'm teaching you today. I'll continue with them in the evening. I just have about three minutes, four minutes left. So for a long season, a long time. The world have been lacking a true God. No wonder a calamity like coronavirus comes and attacks the entire nation. But there is a today. I was afraid. Today. I was in my bedroom watching Fox News. I was afraid. And I told my wife. If this is true. Then we are in trouble. I have seen in New York, a forklift. You know, A forklift. In New York City. In New York. The world's most advanced cities in the world. I have seen a forklift. Yes. Digging the collecting the dead bodies from the hospital. They are dropped them in white sheets and pours on the lorry in New York City. I was afraid. I was afraid this morning. If that one is happening in you, I'm not talking about Chitoro. So get up with Chitoro. Kajans. Well, you can say in New York. Have you ever been in New York? Do you know what New York is? Mama. Banangi. Forklift. It is it is it is yesterday 800 Americans died from coronavirus it lifts them and puts on the lorry and I'm not telling you lies I'm telling you something that is happening you can even go to news and check it yourself I was afraid and I told my children let's buy more food and put in the house because we may die of hunger we have been in America New York is a hundred times 
nice ya big ya technological there is a camera at every corner of the city nungi nyo nene nyo era bikabulungi buli ka corner kona kali mu camera there are over 100000 traffic lights mulimu traffic lights ngalu 10 in new york city mu kibaga che new york and if traffic lights have got about 5 cameras recording everything atenga buli traffic light eko camera ngatano ngazi kwa tabuli chintu forklift these big truck tires. The truck tires It is the they are the ones that collect those si bodies. Not the bodies of Batoro. Si not of Basoga. Not of Uganda. But the American dead bodies. Truck. Putting on the truck. Egende, egende so that they may go and bury. If such things can happen in New York, we need to look for a true God. We need to look for a true God. Because there is no solution now. The only solution for humanity in this particular generation is the true God. So in the evening, I'll be talking more about the true God. And then number two, without a teaching priest. The priests have been joking on the pulpit. They just play drama. And the people like them so much. They jump, go this side, go this side. They shout around. There is no teaching priest. And there is no law. But if we don't have those three things, there is no way such pandemics cannot attack the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to understand these three things that govern our lives. Prayer supplication and thanksgiving. We need to remember them. True God, teaching priests and the law, we need to understand them. We need to understand if we come to God, he will come to us. Number two, if we seek him, we shall find him. Number three, if we forsake him, he will forsake us. This is the moment for us Ugandans to have a true God. When you have a true God, you will always do what is right. Even when you are alone. Even when you are alone. When you have a true God, you will do what is right. I pray that Uganda may be saved from this coronavirus in the name of Jesus. Protect us, O God. Keep us, O God. Let us draw closer to the true God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What did I say to you? That the few words to a wise person are enough. Am I the one who buy for you data? <laughs> that is enough. They're enough. Take it. God is a good God. We have shifted our evening glory. Uh, evening glory because of the curfew. Now we start at 6 o'clock. And we finish at 6.30. Those 30 minutes help us to walk back home. In Jesus' name. Father. We open who are called by your name We pray to you Lord Hear us today Thank you.
name of Jesus build your church even when it is locked up build your church even when the doors are shut build your church even when the churches are empty build your church and heal this land heal the nation of Uganda heal the people of Uganda save the people of Uganda deliver the people of Uganda set the people of Uganda free that coronavirus will not consume us that coronavirus will not overrun us that this pandemic will not cripple our economy heal this land build your church heal this land oh God set this country free protect our children protect our families protect our lives we present those in the hospitals the 11 watoto children kids we present them to you in Entebbe hospital you may set them free heal this land as you build this church in Jesus name amen. 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 And amen. amen and amen somebody clap your hands for the Lord okay we are going to give if you are watching if you are watching I want you to give if you are going to watch later you may be working and you shall see the scripts later or some of you are hearing my audio messages on whatsapp I want to thank my technical team they are doing a wonderful job on whatsapp thank you for sending those vi, 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 the, those audio messages especially for those who don't have data I want to guide you that if you want to listen to these messages you just download the message after downloading you switch off your data and you watch it for free you don't have to put their data to hear audios can be even hard without data so even when you are hearing on whatsapp please consider sending your tithe your offering to this church Entebbe Miracle Center those watching the numbers on your screen just go and give even now I sing the people's song father in the name of Jesus I bless every giver those who are bringing their tithes those who are sending their offerings those who are considering to sow seeds bless them oh God in Jesus' name. Amen. Sasira ay mukama. Sasira kung sasisi. Sasira ay mukama. Sasisi tu sasire. Tu sasire mukama. Sasira ay mukama. Have mercy on us. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Sasira, I move the mountains. Sasira, I move the mountains. Sasira, I move the mountains. Sasira, I Sasira, I move the mountains. 
Be merciful unto us. Be merciful to the people in the hospital. Be merciful to those who are in quarantine. Be merciful to the hungry. Be merciful to the needy. Be merciful to the jobless. Be much for those whose houses were blown off by the rain. Be merciful to all Ugandans. Be merciful unto us, O God. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. Let's meet at 6 o'clock in our evening revival. Evening revival and please continue to send your offering and tithes via those telephone numbers. We shall receive them securely. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Let's meet at 5, 6 o'clock.